finish our Pokemon Sword Flying Types only run. That's the goal, is to beat the game today. So, buckle up. I'm so excited for this double battle against Raihan. Like, my fave. I love double battle gym leaders. Like, Tate and Liza in Gen 3, they're my faves too. Where's Leon? The noise, it was like some massive explosion. The wild Pokemon just started Dynamaxing around me. Poison as you like. Take a look at the news. Wow, that's a big... Is that a Meowth? Yeah. He really is the greatest, right? Yeah, I agree. Leon is one of my favorite champions, honestly. He's got more, like, personality than a lot of the other ones, you know? Most of the champions are just like, I'm great and you suck. I'm gonna beat you. We'll see, we'll see. We're just gonna go and like give it a go. See what happens. We're just gonna do our best, y'all. Did I already get my free Pokeball from you? Yeah, okay. I was here earlier. All right, let's do it. Yes, I'm ready. to the vault. I gotta go to the vault. All right. Not even 10 gym challengers left. I'm in the top 10, y'all. Defeat three gym trainers in double battles. All right, Sebastian, what you got? What you got? Pelipper and Sligoo, huh? All right, so they're both water types. Pelipper is water flying. And Sligoo, I don't know if that's a dragon type yet. Or I know when it evolves, it is water dragon, but I forget which one it is before it evolves, because I think it's just one. Hello, hello friendship, welcome. We're challenging the last gym right now. And then there's gonna be a bunch of story to do after that. Yes, yes, thank you. Thank you for the shirt. <laughs> okay, so Dark Pulse was trash. Um, let's try Air Slash, shall we? All right, I'll take that. I'll take it. That was nice. Volibee should be evolving here soon. I think like a couple more levels. I want to say like 54 maybe is when it evolves. No, I don't want to do that again. Why not? And there we go, Sebastian, you've been defeated. I love double battles. I live for double battles. Which is weird because I never like set up my team for double battles specifically. 
You know, because they're so, like, rare. Like, you're always doing single battles, so, like, that's usually what I'm prepared for. Um, yeah. Yeah, that looks good. What you got for me, Camilla? Ninetales and Turtonator. Turtonator. Well, it's a good thing I switched in my Gyarados. Am I right, ladies? Alright, so we are gonna use this on nine tails. Dang. I forget what Shell Trap does. I wonder if Gyarados is about to get damaged. Garbage. Oh, sweet. Good job, Gyarados. Let's just get rid of this nine tails then. The stress. Easy. Easy. <laughs> All right. So I thought Turtonator was a rock fire type, but now I'm realizing that that's not true. And I don't know what type it is. Mm, let's try... Let's try Crunch. Why not? Stop using Shell Trap! You're killing me. And we're done. Thank you for your contribution, Camilla. I wonder if I have any more, like, experience candies or something to level up Bullaby until it evolves. Because I'm tired of dealing with this baby Pokemon. This is the last gym, and it has not evolved yet. Like... That's nuts. That I still have an, a completely unevolved Pokemon on my team for the last gym. What? Yeah, let's see if I huh? let's see if I have anything. I don't think I do, but you never know. Um, no, I don't have any fighting types. Um, I'll give this to Delibird, because I'm not really worried about it being able to switch out anymore. Um, what else we got? All right, we don't have any of those candies, but that's okay. Oh, and I gotta go sell some stuff. I just got money sitting in my bag. All right, let's do this battle. My strategy is to just attack until you lose. Thanks for asking, Arya. A bomb in the snow and Hakamoko. All right, we got a grass type. And I think that other thing is an electric type too. So this is unfortunate. We need to get rid of you first. I keep forgetting Gyarados knows flamethrower, like, Cause how random is that? But so convenient. Four times effective, even though it's not a stab move. But like, still, look at that. Look at that. Mm. 
Noble Roar. What a move. What's that do? Lower attack and special attack. Cool. And there it is, folks. We are ready to face Raihan. I'm so excited. I don't know about you guys, but easily the best gym leader in this game. If for no other reason than because he does double battles. It's my fave. But also, he's a pretty cool guy. Do I get to go heal first? Nope. All right. Let's get into it. I think we're ready. Let's go. Look how cute she is! The pigtails were such a good call. I was a little skeptical at first, but I'm into it. But first, let me take a selfie. All right, we got ground dragon and rock. Is Gigalith even a dragon? So I know I gotta get rid of that Gigalith, get rid of all those rock type issues for my flying types team, you know what I mean? So we're gonna go hard on Gigalith first. No, you stop that. You stop that. That's rude. Rude and uncalled for. This is going to be rough, y'all. It's going to be rough. If Aqua Tail hadn't missed, I think things would be okay. But that was a really unfortunate miss right there. Do I heal? Yeah, 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 yeah. We're gonna use Drift Blim's turn to heal Gyarados so that we can get that Aqua Tail off. Oof, RIP Drift Blim. Oh, okay, that wasn't bad. Less painful than I was expecting. Oh, and we gotta level up. Okay, okay. Sandaconda. Again, not a dragon, just a ground type. My strategy for double battles is to choose one side and only knock out those Pokemon, so then eventually you'll only have one left. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter which one you knock out. Eventually you will only have one left, no matter what, but usually the first two they send out are like the easiest, so it makes sense to keep one of them alive while you take down the harder ones, and you don't have two difficult ones at the same time, you know what I mean? Oh, wait, it is a steel type. Flamethrower coming in clutch again. <sighs> I forgot you could Dynamax with another Pokemon out on the field. I thought it was like whichever one is the last one standing gets Dynamaxed. This is scary. I'm scared. <laughs>
Gyarados, please live so that you can Dynamax on the next turn. Please. 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 Live. <laughs> okay. We did it. No, live! <laughs> live! <laughs> okay, there goes my flamethrower plan. Man, if I had been less dumb one turn earlier, this would be a totally different battle. Um, Steel Dragon, eh? I don't really know what I'm doing at this point. That was kind of, every plan that I had made during this battle was pinned on Gyarados. So now I don't know what to do. Mm. This will do 50. Yeah, that'll be, that'll be good. That'll be okay. Easy, easy. Easy. Now, who do we want to Dynamax to wipe out this Flygon? Or do we even want to Dynamax at all? I could just beat him without Dynamaxing. Rude. Alright, so we are going to get Volby out here to get some experience. Then, who do we who do we want to Dynamax? I guess Zatu. I don't know if I've Dynamax Zatu yet. I know I've Dynamax Volibee before, so. Doesn't matter. I guess I'll use this one. Why not? Lorge. Lorge bird. We did it, folks. We beat all eight gyms. <laughs> Yee! We did it! Oh, oh, oh. This is not gonna be fun, going through this, like, ice-type area with all only flying types. It's gonna be... Rough. <laughs> and this level up means Volibee is out next. And I think Volibee only has one more level until it evolves, I think. Man, if I go into this Champion Cup with an unevolved Pokemon, I'm going to be mad. Yes. Yes. Finally. My last one. It. I'm so excited for it to not be trash anymore. Um, Beatty's not here. He he couldn't get requalified. You can choose their IVs. Yeah, that definitely sounds hacked. <laughs> Alright, who's up first? Marnie! My girl! 
Look at her. She's so cute in the gym challenger uniform. We love her. Don't take it personal when I kick your butt. I could say the same to you, Marnie. That's a pretty interesting team. Onyx. Is it a regular Vulpix and an Alolan Vulpix? You have both? And then Esper, Eevee, and Dreepy? That sounds fun. Sounds like a fun, fun team to play with. I don't like this. I don't like this. Don't like this. I guess. Yes, let's try Mandibuzz first. Let's give it a go. I don't really have very good dark type coverage. Really, all I have is that one bug type move on Noivern, but. At least they'll all be not very effective against my Mandibuzz, right? Let's try Bone Rush. Why not? I have a, I have a fun time with that move. He gave them the Fire Ice and Electric Stones to evolve. Gotcha. All right, so you're going to have the the two Vulpixes and a Jolteon, right? They're all level 8 now? That was pretty quick to get all of them to level 8. A full restore? That's cheating, Marty. You can't use full restores. Okay, cheating. You can only heal between battles. That's a lie. I will definitely heal mid-battle if I need to. <laughs> I just hope I won't need to. Alright, this time, I think we're going to use Air Slash. Started like 20 minutes ago. Yeah. Yeah, the early game grinding kind of takes a while. More Pico. That is the electric type. I always forget. There's so many Pokemon at this point, I can't keep them all straight. I used to be, like, so good at knowing exactly what type every Pokemon was when it evolves, like, everything. And now there's just too many. I get them all mixed up. All right, two more times. Okay, one more time. One more, one more. Dang. So close. When you get them to another level, you're going to make a new team not hacked. Well, yeah, you could, like, breed all of the hacked ones. Like the ones you're training right now, you could breed them, and then the babies wouldn't be hacked. The IVs might not be as good, but I think starting with a better IV parent gives you better chances. I don't know. It's an option. That's what you're going to do. Well, that would make sense. <laughs> That'd be fun. Use that one just with your friends. Just for like casual stuff. That'd be fun. Mandibuzz, why? Why you do this? Okay, your time is up. Hmm? 
I don't think it quite needs hurricane level damage here, so... We'll see how Aqua Tail does. Easy. <laughs> Toxicroak. All right, all right. Just don't miss. All right, we're good. We're good. We're good. One more. All right, it's Dynamax time. Who's it going to be? Grim Snarl. That is a dark fairy type. Is that how that works? If you breed two dittos, you get random eggs? I would think you just get more dittos. But I haven't actually tried it, so I don't know. Dark fairy type, huh? No, that's a dragon type. Uh, let's do... Yeah, Delibird, why not? That could be pretty fun, though, to get just a team of random eggs that, like, you don't know what it's going to be. That would be fun. I've been watching a lot of randomizers on YouTube. Mostly, like, Zelda ones, but a couple Pokemon ones, too. Where it'll, like, randomize your t whole team either at the beginning or at the end of the battle. I don't know. Could be fun. Have you played the game before? Um, so I'm playing Sword right now. And this is my first run of Sword, but I have played Shield and beat that already. So yes and no, I have played this before. Kind of. It's so ugly. <laughs> like, don't get me wrong, I love Grimmsnarl. It was on my, my team when I played Shield casually, but... This thing is so ugly. It's so tall, its head doesn't even fit in the screen. It's just legs. Yeah, I beat post game. What's your question? I think Delibird's going down. Ooh, a crit. That's nice. Doesn't Hop seem depressed before the end of Poe's game? Um, I don't remember Hop being depressed in the post game I feel like his like his lowest point was between like the fifth to seventh gyms when he's all like down on himself because he sucks and keeps losing to, to you to the player character so but then he gets over that and he starts like feeling better about himself so I don't remember him being particularly depressed in the post game But it's also been a while since I played the post game, so I could just not be remembering it right. It missed? Gyarados, come on, you've been doing better than this. You are better than this. You didn't notice that part? 
Yeah, he kind of like, he like switches. At the, the very beginning of the game for the first few gyms, every time you run into Hop, he's very confident and excited and he's like, I'm gonna win, I'm gonna beat you. And then there's a couple times afterwards where, like mid end, where he gets all sad and he's like, I'll never be as good as Leon. How can I ever expect to beat Leon if I can't beat you? That kind of stuff. But it's like right before the last gym. Am I gonna beat the post game with my team on sword? Maybe, um, pretty much my plan is to stream through like the main story. And then uh, I'm also working on collecting a living decks, which I have most of already. There's only a few things that were like sword exclusives that I don't have yet. Um, so after I beat the gym, the champion cup, I'm going to go collect those Pokemon, but I probably won't stream that because it'll be kind of boring. But yeah, I don't know. I haven't decided if I want to go through that whole post game. Well, no, I kind of have to because I need Zacian for my living decks. So yeah, I guess I will have to do the post game with this team. Do I need starters? Uh one but i don't remember which one and once i get everything from this game into my shield account or into i guess into home then i can just restart this grab this starter i'm missing and then transfer it over i like having as many pokemon in my living decks as possible with like my name on the original trainer do i need a zacian well i'm gonna get one at the end of this so no, but I appreciate you offering. I'm just not there yet, but I will be soon. Okay, so I think it's this battle with Hop, right? Yeah, there's this battle with Hop, and then after this is when we get interrupted by all the Chairman Rose stuff, right? And then we come back after all that to fight Leon and become the champion. Okay, all right, we're 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 getting close, guys, close to the end. We just gotta beat Hop one more time. If I need to breed one. I, I really appreciate you offering, don't get me wrong, but I just don't think I'll need to do any trading. Cause I'll be able to like collect everything that I'm missing in sword and then transfer it into shield and I can just breed it there while I'm like training and trying to evolve stuff. <laughs> Stupid chair. Yeah, he kills me. I was I was so I loved Chairman Rose at the beginning until you get to the plot twist at the end. Like I really thought Chairman Rose was going to be fine and it was going to be Oleana that was the bad guy. That's what I was expecting. But that's not what happened. If it doesn't miss, dang, we tried. There we go, that's better. He wasn't your favorite before you found out he was evil, but you didn't not like him. I get that. He just gives off such strong, like, dad vibes. Like, that's what made me like him. Like, because at the beginning, he's, like, taking care of Vidi, and he's, like, endorsing him and checking up on him sometimes and stuff. And he checks in with you all the time, even though he doesn't know you. You know, like, he's a very hands-on kind of chairman, you know? You know? And really, I don't think... I'm not, like, I don't really remember the story at the end of the game that well, but I have a feeling 
I vaguely remember him not really being evil. He just made some bad choices, you know? But, like, his whole thing is he's trying to provide energy to the Galar region, like sustainable, eco-friendly energy, right? That's, so that's what he's collecting all the wishing stars for. That's why all the crazy Dynamax stuff is happening because of all the wishing stars that he's collecting and all that. He's taking down the ruins, yeah. So he, like, he did some bad things, but for a good reason, you know? So he's not really, like, evil. Just not great, you know? I don't know. I still like him. <laughs> he helped you out taking down the big stone. Yeah. Yeah. So he's like, yeah, he's not pure evil. Don't hit yourself. Hop, what did I tell you about using full restores in the middle of a battle? It's cheating. You thought BD was a woman for a while. Yeah, he does look pretty girly. And he's wearing pink, so like, I, I get it. I forgot about BD. He's about to come crash the Champion Cup. And then we deal with Chairman Rose. I think. Or maybe BD happens after. We'll find out. We'll find out in a second. <laughs> One more Shadow Ball. Let's do it. All right, what's up next, Hop? What you got for me? Snorlax, a well, well, well. No, no, we're switching. Uh, uh. Yeah, yeah, why not? Gyarados, you you probably got this. I believe in you. Alright, Hurricane, don't let me down. Ooh, wait, I should not have used Gyarados yet. It better live. Oh wait, no, never mind. It doesn't matter. Because <laughs> I was trying to remember which starter Hop has. And he has Sobble. Well, Inteleon now, but... If I do this type of thing again, what what should I do? Oh, please hurt yourself. Please. Please. Please, Snorlax. Yes! Ooh. Oh. Get a lot of rare candies and level up to five. Yeah. Yeah, I could do that. What I should have done was level them up to level five in shield before I put before I put them in home and then transfer them into sword. So that way they'd already be level five, just like your starter when I transferred them in. That's what I should have done, but I didn't think about it far enough in advance. I mean, it really wasn't that bad to level them up at the beginning because I had uh, my starter Grookey was already like level seven or eight, I think, by the time you're able to transfer things in from home. And so I just used that to grind a little bit until, until my team could handle being on their own.
I almost forgot to Dynamax this turn. <laughs> I bet Grookey the best starter. Uh, well. <laughs> I usually don't like grass types. Don't hate me. <laughs> I picked Sobble on my shield casual run because I, I always choose water type starters like the first time I play through a game ever since uh, I forget which one but one of the early gens there there like aren't any water types for a while like you need surf before you find any good water types I think it's a sapphire maybe I don't know. so I always just pick the water starter just in case but now it doesn't really matter anymore because they got rid of HMs, so... I don't know. <laughs> it's Grookey. So you don't normally like grass types, but you do like Grookey. Interesting. I mean, I don't dislike Grookey, don't get me wrong. Grookey's pretty cool. I just don't like using grass types. Okay, who can withstand? Oh, oh, my ice type. Duh. Sobble isn't the thing you would choose. Yeah. I don't know. I like. I don't really have any strong feelings one way or the other about any of the starters of this gen. Like they're all decent. They're all cute. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> Oh, that was rough. Thank you, Delibird. I really need to find an ice type move that I can teach to Delibird. What is this? Aw, oh, sorry, friend. I had to do it to you. I'm really glad you were the one here with me. Yeah, how that would be embarrassing if he lost to someone else that wasn't his rival. You know what I mean? <laughs> Drizzle is like the teen who says it's not a phase of his mom. Completely accurate. I thought the same thing when I first saw it. Question for the wild area. I'm ready for you. What's your question? Oh, Liana, you're going down. Huh? Okay, oh, Liana. Calm down. It's going to be okay. It's going to be fine. Um, no, the Pokemon in the wild area do not adjust for your team's level. It's like, when you first go into the wild area, all the Pokemon in the grass are around level 10 or 12, maybe, if I'm remembering correctly. And then I think all the big ones just walking around not in the grass are like level 20-something, 30 maybe. Um, so just avoid the big random ones and you'll, you should be fine. Um, and then it's not until you cross the bit bridge for the second half that that's where they all get like crazy strong and all the wild ones are level 50 and then the big random ones are level 60. Like that's where things get scary is after you cross the bridge. But that beginning part, they're, they're pretty low, I think. Like I remember being surprised in this run when I got to the wild area that I could actually fight the wild Pokemon. I thought they were higher level than they were. If you can get one Pokemon to be like decently strong and then go do a bunch of raids in the wild area to get those experience candies, that's probably going to be the easiest way to grind. That's what I did.
Does that mean they're still high? They're, um... That's a good question. I don't know. I think if your team is around level 10, you should be able to go grind in the beginning part. In like that first part, if you only stick with the small ones in the grass, you should be able to handle those, I think. Like where? Um, man, I don't remember what the name of the town is. After this battle, I could look at a map and tell you. But at this rate, that's gonna be a while. Where did you try? Oh, yeah, you're in the back half. You need to go to the, like, farther south section. The part, like, south of, um... Is that Hammerlock? I guess it's Hammerlock. South of Hammerlock. This is annoying. I need something that does more damage. This is not... Not cutting it. Alright, let's try this. Future Sight, and then Wish, and then Psychic. And then Future Sight should hit right after Psychic. And maybe that'll be enough. Alright folks, I think we can take it down now. Oh, Psychic did not do nearly as much as I expected it to. Okay, that was nice, though. And Wish! Yes! I timed that so well. Growlithe is now your favorite Pokemon. Why? Is it just, like, carrying you? <laughs> or no, you didn't have a Growlithe on your team. In the meetup area? Yeah, smart. Oh shoot, I didn't read what she's gonna send out. Uh, that too is probably fine. Ooh, ooh, I take it back. Take it back. <laughs> and you couldn't get out? So you were just stuck in the battle with this level 60 Pokemon. <laughs> Oh, and then it used Roar. Amazing. I hate when that happens. That makes me so mad. When you're like, you tr keep trying to run away from a wild Pokemon and it won't let you escape. And then it'll use like Roar or Whirlwind or something that ends the battle anyway. And I'm like, bruh, you could have just let me run. <laughs> Yeah, you need to go, like, all the way to the south side of the wild area. That's where the weaker Pokemon are. That you'll actually be able to battle against. <laughs> like, all the way south. Which one's stronger? This one. Can we take it out before it hurts me? We'll... We'll see. We'll find out.
Gigantamax. G Gigantamax? Gigantamax? I never know how to pronounce that. So good at this. Alright, Chairman Rose, where you at? Coming for ya. You're next. 